Good morning and welcome everyone to our open house webinar. Today is November 17th. We're excited to be with you and explain what we do here at Colby Academy. Um, to get started on time, we're going to open up in prayer. If you'll join me, today is the feast day of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. So we're going to ask for her to pray for us. And if you'll join me in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. St. Elizabeth, you are always poor in spirit most generous towards the poor, faithful to your husband, and fully consecrated to your divine bridegroom. We ask for your prayers that guided by the Holy Spirit, we may keep our faith in the Lord. Teach us to make use of our time in the service of God, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So before I begin this morning, I'll introduce myself. My name is Mrs. Massey. I am an advisor at Colby Academy along with the Dean of K through eight students. So we're very excited that you're here. We get to talk a little bit about what we do. Um, if you do have any questions, we are on Zoom. So go ahead and you can type out any questions that you might have in the chat box. And I will answer all the questions at the very, very end because I might give information along the way that will answer your question. So to begin, let's talk about our mission. So Colby Academy is a mission-driven organization. Um, we're here to provide affordable, customizable, and academically rigorous Catholic education um, throughout the world. We have students all over the world. So that's an amazing experience and something that we are grateful to be able to offer. Um, salvation is our ultimate goal, and our flexible approach allows parents to tailor their educational needs to their students. And that means each student might have a different need and therefore a different education that can be customized. Now, our mission, we are dedicated to the pursuit of truth, wisdom, and virtue as the primary and prescriptive ends of education in the Catholic tradition. Colby Academy aids students in acquiring the skills of the liberal arts, assists in forming classically and educated students to develop a mature intellect and cultivates openness to the call of holiness. Now, we were founded as a day school in 1980 by three Catholic families who were very concerned about the decline of education in the public school system, and they wanted a wholesome, academically challenging environment for their children. Now, the founder's goal was to form young Catholic citizens who could effectively defend their faith with a thorough understanding of doctrine and regular reception of the sacraments. They also foresaw the growing need for a better, more individualized, and intensive instruction in basic education. St. Maximilian Kolbe was chosen as the patron of their new school because of his deep devotion to the Blessed Mother. And following the example of St. Maximilian Kolbe, who utilized modern print and radio to spread the gospel, Kolbe Academy is a pioneer in the use of technology to bring quality Catholic education to students around the world. So St. Maximilian Kolbe is our namesake and our patron saint. Um, you can go ahead and read <laughs> his awesome words on the screen there that can inspire us to pursue God and give him the glory in all things that we do. Now let's talk about Colby Academy by the numbers. So we were established in 1980, as I said, and our homeschool was founded seven years later in 1987. We've offered online courses since the fall of 2013. We have over 2,500 students with 1,100 online students or taking at least some form of an online class. Um, we do offer traditional school at home courses in grades K through 12, online courses also in grades K through 12 and our self-paced courses in seventh through 12th grade. And we'll talk more about those different course types later. Um, we can see our median SAT scores there, and uh, many of our teachers, 70% and half of our advising staff have advanced degrees. Now, what's the Colby difference? So Colby Academy, we take our loyalty to the magisterium seriously. So all of our full-time employees take an oath to fidelity of, to the magisterium, and they also sign a profession of faith. And our rigorous classical approach to education forms the student's mind and soul with a focus on the great works of Western civilization, as well as a premier math and science curriculum. The options of traditional school at home, live online classes, or the hybrid self-paced courses that include digital content ensure you can get the best fit for your students and your family by customizing the curriculum to meet the unique learning needs of each child. So our three main pillars there are Catholic, classical, and customized. Colby Academy, we embrace and support the principle of subsidiarity. That's one of our most notable characteristics, um, which means that we the matter should be handled at the lowest or least centralized level of authority possible. 
We support the parents as primary educators of their children. So to assist this, we have designed our program to allow that flexibility in course and curriculum selection, as well as providing multiple diploma tracks. Now this allows parents to adapt curriculum to meet the needs of each individual student while Colby is there to support you along the way. Now here's some services that Colby provides. We are a full service curriculum provider and school. We offer everything you need to home educate your child from books, teacher manuals to standardized testing. Parents can enroll your student in full-time or part-time, or you can choose the amount of assistant you want with online homeschool or self-paced courses. So we offer advising. Um, we do curriculum in our bookstore is, is stocked full of books, curriculum, teacher, teacher um, manuals and student workbooks along with spirit gear. Um, we offer grading assistance for different courses. So if you know you don't want to grade your students math homework, you can sign up for our homeschool plus and submit all of his math, their math assignments or exams um, to our grading service teacher. We also do record keeping and provide transcripts or report cards. And we also provide, as I said before, that standardized testing. So the three ways we educate, we label them traditional school at home, our self-paced courses, which is in the middle because they're a mix of also our live online courses. So let's talk traditional school at home. We offer you everything you need to educate at home, such as textbooks, course plans, test, answer keys, and grading services. So a traditional school at home course is parent directed and parent graded. It's something that when you think of homeschooling, um, you think of schooling at home um, with paper material, you know, at home with your parent. Um, now we have our live online courses. So that's something a little different, right? So there's more student interaction because your student is in a live online course with other students. We also have a smaller class size. It ranges um, from you know, kindergarten to 12th grade, the size of the classroom, but normally you won't have more than 15 in like a K through uh, six um, environment or uh, maybe 20 to 26 in a middle school or high school live classroom. So it is a smaller classroom size, more time with the teacher and great student interaction. Um, it is instructor directed and instructor graded. So parents who don't wanna take on the active role of teaching their children or grading their work, a live online course is the better fit for you. And then right in the middle, a blend of a traditional school at home course and a live online course will be those self-paced courses. So our self-paced courses are uh, asynchronous. So the student can complete them uh, in, we allow for 12 months, but if the student completes it sooner or needs extra time, that's also available. It is a parent directed course, and we also offer optional grading service with a self paced course. And the students have uh, weekly or sometimes daily, depending upon the course, pre recorded videos by a teacher for that specific subject. We also offer honors and AP courses for some high school subjects as well. So, traditional school at home courses. We can see that they're graded by the parent. You receive course plans and exams um, and to verify grades at the end of the quarter or the semester for your student, depending upon what grade they're in, you just send in sample work for each quarter or semester. And then that will be approved and added to their grade record. And then we will send you a report card at the end of each quarter or semester that you submit grades to include as part of your student's official grade record. Um, we have honors courses that are weighted and designated samples that are graded by an advisor and parents can modify a homeschool course. So although we provide uh, daily course plans for K through eight or weekly course plans for our high school students for traditional school at home courses, parents are free to modify the course plans as much or little as they would like. So if they want to take out assignments or add assignments, they're free to do so. We just provide that comprehensive course plan to allow you the flexibility of knowing this is, these are all the things you can do, um, but you don't have to do all of them. Now our self-paced courses. So our self-paced courses are only available right now for students in grades seven through 12. Again, you get that 12 month access to the course. If students complete it sooner than 12 months, that's perfectly fine. If they take longer, that's okay too. Too, You can also add extensions onto that time if needed. Um, we do provide some video lectures. There are self-graded quizzes to assess for content knowledge. Uh, it is a parent directed course and it is parent reported. So a parent would report the self paced course as a homeschool course following that same outline of submitting samples and a parent report card to then be recorded and then we will send you a report card back.
We also have honors courses available for some of our self-paced courses. Now you can add on a class discussion board and you can also add on a grading service. If you want that grading service for a self-paced course, it's called Self-Paced Plus. And there are certain pre-selected assignments that will be graded by an instructor for that specific subject. Now, finally, our live online courses. Again, we have great student interaction. We have instructor led and it's graded. It follows a typical school schedule. There are assignment due dates. We have student clubs. Um, we have parent support groups. Again, honors and AP courses and dual credit courses. So the online course provide that structure and accountability and using that same classical approach as your traditional homeschool courses or those self-paced courses. So you can think of our online courses as a way to school at home versus homeschool. Um, students will meet live with peers during um, classes on our Adobe Connect platform at a set time, usually once or twice a week for a full school year. Instructors post assignments with due dates, hold discussions, and they grade student work using our Schoology platform. Courses have already begun for the school year. We begin in August and they follow our typical school calendar that ends in May. If you're interested in enrolling your student in our online courses, our mid-year enrollment is open. So please reach out to us if you'd like to enroll your student in the online course. Live courses are held Monday through Thursday and assignments come usually due on Fridays. We do offer online courses in all subject areas for grades six through 12, including honors and select AP courses. And we have a full K through five live online program. Now, what is our support for our online learning? Well, over summer, we do offer three week uh, summer intensives as I like to call them. They're really workshops or boot camps. We also have orientation courses to prepare students to enter the online learning environment that they're prepared and know what's expected of them and how to use technology. We offer homeroom and study skills and we have live chat support. So if a student is having a problem with tech, they can immediately go to our website, colby.org and chat with our tech team. We also offer family support. So we have advisors who will assist in course selection, we offer a live parent orientation at the start of the school year. And we also have two deans of students. I am one for K through eight, and we have another dean for high school. Now for our types of enrollment, we have four different types. We have full-time online, full-time standard, full-time flex, and part-time enrollment. And I wanna go ahead and give some more information on each types of these enrollments. So full-time online enrollment. This is going to be um, a student who is typically taking most courses from Colby Academy and doing so in an online live course. And this is if you want your student to have Colby as their official school of record. record. So it can be a mix. Uh, typically we see or suggest students to take we need four to, to five. All right, so we're gonna usually see a mix of five online self-paced or self-paced plus courses and one free self-paced course for six through 12. Um, any additional homeschool courses at no extra charge. So for instance, if you have your student in five um, online or a mix of self-paced or self-paced plus courses, you can add on homeschool courses at no extra charge. So if you're in K through eight, we allow up to 12 courses. Um, for high school, we allow a max of eight academic courses. So there is a difference there of what students are expected to handle at different grade levels. Now the school of record, um, we do offer K through eight report cards. We offer a nine through 12 transcript and our attendance is tracked for students. That's uh, specifically important for our California families. And then we also offer a diploma for eighth grade and our high school students. Now an assigned advisor, when you enroll in full-time online, you have an assigned advisor to your student who assists in customizing the curriculum for you and gives that advice. Um, we also offer you know, general homeschooling advice if your student is struggling with just transitioning to homeschool um, or has specific subject area questions, we can help answer that. We also provide special needs assistance um, or if you have questions about high school guidance or career you know, planning services, we offer that at those as well. We also just offered a virtual um, college event where we had different colleges come and speak to our students, which was very successful. So we have a lot of supports there. Um, now with full-time online, you have bookstore credits for all full-time students and student ID is available during enrollment. So again, full-time online is for a program of study if you're thinking your student's gonna take mostly online courses or a mix of online and self-paced. Now, if your student's going to do um, full-time standard, 
that is going to be um, available for K through 12 students. And it's thought of more traditional schooling at home using our curriculum. It includes the comprehensive course plans, test answer keys, and you can add online and self-paced courses for six through 12 grade students. So if you have a student who's mostly not taking online courses, but you might wanna choose one or two online or self-paced, that's when you'd wanna choose full-time standard. Again, you have Colby being the school of record. We offer the report cards for K through eight transcripts for ninth through 12th graders and diplomas for eighth graders and our high school students who graduate with us. You again have that assigned advisor who offers uses the same assistance as a full-time online student. Uh, again, books are included. You get a bookstore credit for all full-time students and that student ID is available during enrollment. Now for our full-time flex, the main difference between full-time standard, online, and flex is that flex does not come with a bookstore credit. So if you see the main thing that has changed on this slide is the purchase books. So with full-time online and full-time standard, we provide a built-in bookstore credit for you to purchase your books through our Colby bookstore. Full-time flex is sometimes used by our veteran homeschool families where, you know, they've been homeschooling many of their children and they already have the textbooks at home. They don't need to purchase them through us. So we reduce the cost of tuition because we're not including that bookstore credit. Um, that's the biggest difference. And full-time flex is not available for kindergarten students. It's only available for our first graders through our 12th graders. And again, it offers the same benefits as um, you see here on the screen. Now, part-time enrollment. So part-time enrollment is for a student who just needs maybe to take one or two courses to maybe supplement what they're doing at a public school or possibly to supplement what they're doing if they're already homeschooling and not using Colby. So if you want to enroll in a single course, you will receive a transcript for that one course or any Colby courses you are enrolled in. You do have access to advising, but you are not assigned a specific advisor, and you can add on grading help for that course. Let's talk about Homeschool Plus. So Homeschool Plus is our grading service for third through 12th grade. So we have two different grading services. One I mentioned before was for self-paced plus courses. So if you're taking a self-paced course and you wanna add grading, you would purchase that course as a self-paced plus course. Homeschool Plus is typically used for students taking traditional school at home, homeschooling courses. Um, so it's available for any enrolled student. You can purchase uh, grading blocks in 10, 20, or 50. So that would be 10 assignments that are graded, 20 assignments that are graded, or 50 assignments that are graded. An evaluator is assigned for each student, which is great because then they can see the full student's growth um, across the assignments. And feedback is given and a grade is assigned. So again, as Colby is the school of record. And if you would like to take part in our optional grade reporting service, all you have to do is send us a certain amount of samples, depending upon the student's grade, um, and a parent report card at the end of each quarter or semester. So if you know right from the beginning you don't want to handle most of the grading, you can add on this Homeschool Plus, receive student work that has been graded, and then turn in those samples to um, Colby Academy or the advisor to then process the grade and then issue you a report card. So Homeschool Plus is a great service if you just know you don't want to grade your students' work. And then of course we have a full online bookstore that carries all of our required text, supplemental materials, and many parental resources. So parents can purchase traditional homeschool course plans and all student texts on our bookstore without being enrolled. Discounted used books can be available for purchase as well, which I think is a great feature. Um, I know myself, I don't mind buying used books. So I think that our, the fact that our bookstore offers them um, is a great resource to our families. Now that brings us to the end of our open house webinar today. I wanted to throw out a time or opportunity to ask any questions, receive any answers that for those questions. And I see we do have some um, people posting in chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the first question. So what is the difference between self-paced and a homeschool course? So homeschool course is non-digital. A self-paced course, is going to have a digital component to it. So that means it is going to be accessed through our um, educational platform Schoology. So the student will have, for instance, if they enroll in English self-paced, they're going to access that course on their Schoology page. And every um, 
week is going to have a different folder of their things that they have to work on. And in every week, there's going to be at least a video that is pre-recorded by a teacher of that subject to help instruct them. And even though that there are recorded lessons, the parent is still the primary instructor of that course and the primary grader of that course. Um, homeschool does not have that digital component. It is a traditional homeschool course. You have um, paper or digital course plans and then the parent is in charge of instructing from there. Hopefully that answered your question. Um, let's see our next question. If you purchase Homeschool Plus and start out with 10 and you find you want more graded, can you add more blocks after the initial purchase? Definitely, you can always add on. Um, even if you are homeschooling or if you, depending upon your type of enrollment, you wanna add a self-paced course throughout the middle of the year add a homeschool course, add a live online course, there's always the flexibility to add and drop. Um, there may be a different time frame of when you can add and drop an online course, depending upon the course and the grade level, but we, we typically are pretty flexible in that. Yes, we do have a way to preview a class. We offer different times. If you're interested in our live classes, we offer shadow week, which I believe was last week for our students. We'll also offer shadow week again in the spring. Um, I would pay attention for any emails that come out about registering your student to uh, take part in Shadow Week. It's a great time to have a student be in uh, a live online class to see what it's like. We also will share uh, pre-recorded lessons for different subjects. So if you're interested in that, um, and if you're not enrolled with Colby, I would suggest that you email advisors at colby.org. Again, that's advisors at colby.org and let them know you're interested in watching a pre-recorded live class. All right, how does homework work for, oh, one more thing about that, I forgot. Um, if you wanna preview a class and it's a self-paced course, we do offer um, a free preview of self-paced courses on our website. Uh, I will pause and share that link in a moment. I don't have it handy off the top of my head, but I will share that in the chat. So I think that's something that's important to see the self-paced class layout as well. How does home homeroom work for online school? That's a great question. So I actually am a homeroom instructor for our eighth graders. Um, homeroom, we meet um, once a week and it's usually about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. And homeroom this year, uh, we kind of tweak it every year depending upon what we find our students are needing every year. The, this year, how it works is there's a spiritual component to it. Um, we also have a time for students to uh, improve their skills on presenting. So for eighth grade, I can speak to what I'm doing. I have them do a little presentation on themselves. So I have a student of the week. Every week they share, you know, where they're from, what they like to do, uh, their skills, talents, hobbies, a favorite saint or their home parish with their fellow peers. And we all get to learn about each other. And then we have a different study skill that we learn every week. So our eighth graders have already learned um, uh, the Cornell note-taking system. We're gonna learn about the Pomodoro uh, time uh, tracking method in January. We learned about how to create a good learning space. Uh, we learned uh, recently about how to uh, outline, how to write a paper. We're learning about how to avoid plagiarism, how to do MLA citations. So all really important things to lead up to student success in their future years, whether it's with us or someplace else. Um, and next spring, I plan on bringing in some uh, Colby staff and teachers to speak about their experience. Um, and for my eighth graders in particular, I'm gonna ask that they share, you know, what were things that they wanted to do when they were in eighth grade when they became an adult and how that changed to kind of um, get them thinking about what options are available to them and how they can best use their time in high school or the time afterward to prepare for that. Um, yes, the uh, email is advisors at colby.org, advisors at colby.org, that is correct. Yes, yeah, so we are fully accredited all of our courses. And there's more information on that, on our accreditation on our website, colby.org. Um, yes, yeah, so there is the ability to enroll in online courses at a mid-year enrollment. So we would start in January when our school year starts again after the semester one break for Christmas. Um, you would have to reach out to your advisor if you're already enrolled with us. If you want to start in an online class and you're not enrolled, I would reach out to advisors at colby.org for more information. 
the full online option, if you register, what is the commitment for the parents in regards to time? Well, we do ask that they're, especially for our K through seventh or even K through sixth graders, sometimes seventh graders are self-motivated, but we ask that usually for the younger grades that there is a parent there to assist. Um, younger students don't always have the technical skills and don't know how to troubleshoot tech issues. So um, we need to have a, either an older sibling there at home while they're in live classes or a parent, adult, someone um, who's trusted to kind of um, oversee their learning. Uh, their K through five program students, depending upon their grade, are going to be in online classes from one to maybe three hours a day, depending upon the day, Monday through Thursday. Some days are a little less. Um, so it really does depend. And there is asynchronous work that is done in our online program, but parents are still needed because assignments, especially for our K through five program, we have a huge focus on penmanship and handwriting. So that means um, students will have a little bit more work in K through five um, as they are younger and need this help in printing out assignments, completing assignments by writing them out, having the parents scan it and then upload it to Schoology. So it's a little bit uh, of more work for the parent, but there does need to be parent assistance there. Yes, so we have open house webinars uh, available to watch on our website. We did a couple of them. Um, in the fall when school started and on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, we have all of our webinars on there available to rewatch if you need. We also do have, uh, you have access to them at colby.org. Now I'm going to stop sharing my screen for one moment because I did speak of some links and I just like to provide links as I remember because I know um, it's just easier to look them up now and have them handy. So let me go ahead and pull up our website, colby.org. So if you're on your computer and you wanna follow along with me, I will uh, say what I'm doing so you can find it on your web on the website yourself, or I can just go ahead and share the link for you to have access. So if you go to colby.org, you'll see we have different tabs. Why choose Colby? We have admissions, academics, services, current families. So if you're looking for like a school calendar, if you click current families tab, you'll have the school calendars there. You can read our student handbook, um, which has a lot of great information in it about what we expect at Colby, um, our policies for online, things like that. It provides a lot of information. So one thing that I do want to point you to is where to find the try the self-paced course for free. So if you go to our website, colby.org, go ahead and click on academics and then click on the button three ways to educate. If you go ahead and scroll down past the traditional school at home information, scroll past the live online courses information and find the self-paced courses. It's the third option toward the bottom. There's a young man wearing a green camo shirt there on the computer. And the, the first option, it says, try a self-paced course for free that is going to be the link where you can try that course. So I'm gonna go ahead and share the link in our chat for us now. All right. And I think there was one last question I wanted to answer before we end. Oh, yes. Here we go. So if we're at colby.org again, go to ac academics. Scroll down to the bottom, we have our accreditations. So this is all the information on how we are nationally recognized and accredited by Cognia, which is the National Association of Private Schools and Independent Schools, which is NAPSIS. So I'm gonna go ahead and share the link to accreditation. And I know that we've had a um, few questions on our educational philosophy. Um, I did want to include a video on one of our alumni speaking about uh, how we point students to read and discover and analyze primary text. Um, we didn't have time for that video, but um, there are some videos on there that speaks to that and how uh, we do point students to that classical education with traditional values. All right, well, thank you all for being with me today. I appreciate you enjoying, hopefully enjoying our Zoom webinar today and learning about Colby. Again, 
If you're not enrolled with us, feel free to reach out with any further questions or assistance you might need to our email address, advisors at colby.org. If you are enrolled with us and just need something tweaked to your enrollment, go ahead and reach out to your advisor. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. God bless. Thanks for being with us.